You rolling? Yeah, it's good. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters, man. Hey, y'all know how we do, man. This is the Jewish, the real Jewish mob, man. The one of the truest, realest churches in Israel. I humbly say that, by the way. Uh, before we get into this word, we must acknowledge our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this word to come out. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters are truly, truly um, edified by today's word. It's going to be quick, man. Um, listen, man. Um, repentance is going to be on the docket today as far as what we're going to speak on. And then we're also going to speak about how the Lord... Uh, Bless the elder over here, man, in a way that, that you guys wouldn't even understand. Uh, we talked about it off camera, Ish, and I told you when the Lord poked him in the eye, yeah. like literally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was a it was a blessing that came out of that. We're gonna speak on that. But y'all gotta got y'all gotta kind of excuse us. Our spirit is slightly off a bit. Oh, we just dealt with a super demon. Yeah, slightly <laughs> off. And only 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 the elder can 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 tell you the when we say spiritual warfare is real, well, we forgot to tell y'all, we even get spiritually attacked in church. Yeah. A demon a, a demon that times our church schedule to the T comes around and try to do that do that dumb shit, man. Yeah. But to no avail because we we are who we are. And um listen, man, ish but while your dad gets situated, bro, can you give us that Romans six twenty three? Yes. Uh, listen, y'all, repentance. Like I said, man, it come a time when you're in the world and you come over and you transition to this side. The first thing you gotta do, man, before you can even really get into this spiritual thing, man, this biblical thing is you gotta repent. Um, it's it's it, it has to happen. It is not optional. It's mandatory, man. And the time that we are living in, this thing is, hey, this thing is ending way quicker than you think. The Lord is really on his way back with his whoop-ass stick. And I'm telling you, the, the message that the loud and clear y'all need to be hearing is repentance, man. Uh, Ish, can you be so kind and give us that Romans 623? Romans, yeah. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Christ, our Lord. What's the first part of that scripture? But now, oh, I'm tripping out. Screw yeah. it up. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Okay. Your hire, your pay. Okay. Your reward for doing that bullshit y'all like to do. Let's just say it to you this way. For your service of sin, right, you're going to receive a billion dollar check with death on it. That's the best way we can, we can call it. You rappers that's selling your soul. That's a sin. And guess what? The wages of your sin ain't all that money that y'all think y'all getting because the elder already told you money is fake. Death. You better repent, man, because if not, the Lord is going to knock your wingtips loose. What does it say? Yeah, she said, what's the second half of that Romans 6.23? But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai. The gift of life. The gift of Yahweh is eternal life. You can't get that if you're a sinner. You got to be repentant and obedient to Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Without that, you're fucked. So you have a choice. You can uh, you can get divine justice by way of not repenting and the Lord kill your ass, or you can repent and be obedient to His only begotten Son Yahweh, and you get eternal life. Us, we are we've been on both sides of this thing. There is no way we can slang this if we have no repentant soul in us. Ezekiel eighteen four, bro. Yeah. You get a chance. Listen, man, what are we talking about? Repentance. Um, you got to be able, you got to repent. We're not perfect. But when we backslide, we, we repent immediately because we understand that's the only way we have a chance. Now, a lot of y'all think it's a game. 
But the Lord does not fuck around. What does it say Ish and Ezekiel 18 and 4? Because they think sin is just, you know, something that you can just play with. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 4. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Give him the first part one more time. It's the very first sentence, man. Behold, all souls are mine. Stop there. All souls is the Lord's. So you don't own yourself. The Lord own your ass. Mm -hmm. So all the sinning that you think you're doing and getting away with, no. It's a docket with your name on it. The Lord is going to fuck you over, man. That's why I tell you in uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because speed, this judgment is not speedily. Niggas commence to do that dumb shit yeah. because they think like, dude, the Lord, you is you is his. So at all time, he know he's the master, you the slave. Mm -hmm. So anytime you get your ass out of line, the Lord give you an option to bust your head. What else is say in Ezekiel 18, 4-ish? As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. The soul that sinned, it shall die. The soul that sin it, it shall die. So all we talking about is repentance, man. Your reward for that bullshit that you're doing, the transgression of the law, your blatant disrespect of the Lord's commandments, statutes, laws. Listen, we be scared as hell, man, just trying to get through the day. And you got people... You know why that for wages of sin is death? You know why that's there, you damn numb nuts? Because, dude, the whole goal is you to fear the Lord and be obedient to him. Those are your lots, two of your three lots. Knowing his name, fearing him, and being obedient to him. So you don't get a green, you don't get a pass to sin. Because you're getting a pass to eternal death, dude. Ish, if you can grab that axe, 319 man cuz the y'all y'all listen dude repentance man is the million dollar shot you got to have that without that you're fucked eh? that acts 319 you got yeah, it I got it okay acts chapter 3 verse 19 repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the lord Repentance, man. You gotta, you gotta have it. If you don't repent, man, the Lord's gonna fuck you over. He gonna fuck you over anyway. But you gotta repent, man. Because without the Lord, we ain't got a chance. We repent for stuff we did before we even, <laughs> before we even got this. We repent. I mean, this is this is the spiritual head of Yahshua the Milwaukee, aka Yahusha Milwaukee, the truth. This is the spiritual head. This is who I yield to when I'm going through my spiritual frustrations and things of that nature. And the spirit set it up that way. I didn't I didn't set it up for him to be the spiritual head. The, the Lord set it up like that. Everybody know I'm boisterous. I'm Peter. I got that same spirit Peter got. It don't take much for me to get it on. It don't take much for me to be irritable. It don't take much for me to want to shank a nigga, man. And when it comes yeah. when it comes to this brother right here, I always tell him, he ain't got to worry about no drama. Let me get that. Like if somebody even vex his spirit the wrong, wrong way, let me let me step in. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we had a situation prior to church where I wanted to sh I wanted to damn near choke a motherfucker, man. <laughs> Why? Because oh, man. my brother, the elder of this church, does so much for so many people, even clients. Like, when you see somebody that's blatantly being ungrateful, when you see somebody that's blatantly being a demon, when it ain't even no room <laughs> to be a demon, and you still be a demon. It's like me and the me and his son, we having church on the side, you know what I'm saying, fellowshipping. And we couldn't help but to notice a legion of demons jumped on his client. 
And the elder handled it so spiritual the way he is. We ain't gonna go into detail no further than that, but now look, oh, watch this, watch this. I'm just gonna speak in terms of understanding, and this is for the elites. God. This this is this this isn't even for the church members because they won't understand. It. God, God. The Lord has a funny way of showing me things, or or I perceive that the Lord is showing me things God. through certain innuendos. Like, okay, he had on a red and white Milwaukee Brewers skull hat. I peeped that. Are the colors of the Milwaukee Brewers red and white? No. Have they ever been red and no. white? <laughs> Blue and gold, baby. Who read in the Bible? Sodden. Right. Now look, the Milwaukee Brewers logo is white power. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna miss that. I... So, no, but it is. Con, con, con. When, when they do like this in a, in a picture, so white boys get caught doing like this. Is, hey, okay, man. So if, if you an Israelite and you do this, you say. Yep. If you are just a neat old dude and you do like this, you're a okay. But if you're a white boy in a picture and you do like this, it's white power. <laughs> white power. Now, who owned the Brewers? It's oh, a great, nigga great, or it's a white boy. Great drink, man. Okay, it's a white boy. Yeah, great drink. All right. Yeah. Ain't a picture, ain't a logo, a picture, or with, or a structural of uh, something, but a lot of times it's in picture form. God, yeah. yeah. White power. Yeah. <laughs> and like, so this is this is this is who someone who think like that, and then so now I'm not done. He had on Lake Geneva, Wisconsin <sighs> sweater that matched. It was red and white. What what you think he know about Lake Geneva? He don't know shit. He can't know shit about Lake Geneva. What you think I know about Lake Geneva? One of the richest houses that was in Seoul there not too long. Not ago. only that, I know a lot more about that, Lake that, Geneva yeah, than that. that. That's when them people. That's when them wicked leaders. Yeah, that's right. When, that's when like the people go out there. They nigga run around. They how they they, 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 they just shoot me. Yeah, spirit to be man. Yeah, this man run around. Right, run this fast. Yeah, doing run dance fast. Like a motherfucker. Yeah, run day fast and that motherfucker. So. In Lake Geneva, Lake Geneva is an elitist playground. Big boy shit. Why? I don't know. I, it, it couldn't be for no Israelites, bro. Can you imagine some billionaire Jake? Yeah, yeah man, perfect. No. What? Right. They don't even. Man, did you get your? You ever been to Lake Geneva? No, I done drove past it. I ain't been ain't there. Shit to do like. Bro, listen. <laughs> listen. But so for some reason, the bosses is all bosses. They want that's where they want to be, be there. In Lake Geneva. Well, you know, they got the, I, you know, I do know one thing about Lake Geneva. They got like the, they get some like a, a resort kind of like duck off where you can, it's kind of like a. The Playboy Mansion. Higher. It's kind of like Playboy a, Mansion. The first Playboy Club was in Lake Geneva. Absolutely. Now. Yeah. I'm saying that to say this. It's almost like the Lord was like saying to me, like, don't take him serious. He don't know anything about that logo. Facts. And I put the red hat on him because it's to him it's an outfit. Facts. You you know ain't no outfits. It's all nigger jokes. All day. And they got a Lake Geneva sweater on. He don't even know what that means. Come on. So you don't you can't I mean you only go so far with people like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. and what's that's just a common person. Yeah. All these NBA basketball head niggas, if you put their favorite team logo down in front of them and said, they can't bust look at this logo, out. and what I want you to do is turn it sideways, turn it, you know, move it like a clock. Click it, and then look at it like that. Squint and look at it. See, a lot of people don't know about that. When you squint and look at something, start off squint and then let it come into focus. Oh, that's different, bro. And you'll start, you can see a lot of shit like that. Detail. You'll see a lot of shit hiding when you go out of focus looking at it and then slowly come into focus and keep doing it and turn it upside down. Like, I done developed a way of knowing how to kind of look at this shit. And I think this shit is designed to where they're like, hey, if one of them motherfuckers learn how to do that shit, he gonna be able to learn how to look at this shit 
It's almost like a program. Yeah. So here you are. You have all these raging, screaming sports fans, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean in a second, too. God. <clears throat> and you take a, their favorite team logo and you say, hey, man, what, what do you think this logo means? If you don't have to be right. You, you don't have to be right. Right. Just but take you a piece of paper right. and do uh, a Rorschach block test. Okay. Rorschach block test yourself God. on a NBA, NFL, Major logo. League Baseball logo. Start there. And just start, what do you see in there? Well, this seven look like an L. Right. And a hockey stick. Right. That's ridiculous. But does it look like that? Yes. Okay, then mark that down. What else do it look like? Look like an Allen wrench, I guess, if you turn an Allen wrench. Put that down. God. It looked like an Allen wrench. What else do it look like? And everything that you can possibly think it vaguely looks like. Put that down. Write that down. And keep looking at it. God. And at some point, if the Lord dealing with you, or you perceived that the Lord is dealing with you, a light bulb may come on in your head and you go, hey, wait a minute. The Milwaukee Brewers logo is 3-6. It's 3-7 if you turn it clockwise. If you turn it counterclockwise, it breaks off, flips around. Um... It's white power. It's three six. It's if you count, add that up, it's eighteen. God. God. So you start doing this, and you start realizing, wait a minute, this this got a, a intricate design to it. This doesn't say yeah. no shit, a motherfucker doodle. Nah, this was, yeah, this was thoroughly done, diligently, thoroughly. What about Whoops. sale off the jail? Break that down to them. Uh, There's a restaurant downtown where all the rest of the Negro jokes are called the Sail Loft, spelled S-A-I-L-L-O-F-T. Facts. It's seemingly very innocent, but when you're on the trail of cheese, eggs, and Welch's grape. Yep, T-bone steak. Yep. You have to <laughs> take a closer look, and lo and behold, Sail Loft to jail. Sell off to slavery. Very sinister. It's a nigger joke. Right. And right in front, you got the home bridge. In front of that, you have the 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 the, the, the phallus. Yeah. The the, the 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 black male phallus yep. encased in concrete. Yeah. Then you go the over to the Harley Museum and you got this big black box inside of a box. Yeah. We know what that is. A nigger in jail. Yeah. 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 Or it can be perceived that way. Because according to the rules of looking at art, God. you're supposed to mute it. Right. Wasn't mean to you. Right. Right? Yeah. Like when they talked about eclectic art. You know, what does it mean to you? you know, abstract it, art. What does it mean to you? See, that's that wordplay bullshit for them to bypass the, the, the fuckery. This book comes from the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. It's the largest picture museum in the whole entire world. And the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is kept there. When your dad finishes point, we'll, we'll stop it. Right? Now, I haven't looked at this book as much as I should because I'd be doing so much other so many other different activities throughout the day. You, you want to start, stop and start, start over? If you want to stop here, that's good. Yeah, go ahead, Daphne, go ahead.